Peppa and George's cousins are coming to visit today. Mummy, how long before Cousin Chloe is here? Not long now, Peppa. Baby Alexander is coming too, remember? Oh, babies cry all the time. They're so noisy. I'm sure Baby Alexander won't be that noisy. <coughs> What's that sound? Is it a car alarm? Is it a fire engine? No, it's Baby Alexander. <coughs> Hello, Peppa. Hello, George. Hello, Cousin Chloe. Hello, everyone. Hello, Uncle Pig. Hello. Hello, Auntie Pig. You remember Baby Alexander, don't you, Peppa? Yeah. <laughs> Are you staying for a few days? No, this is what Alexander needs for just one day. Can't go anywhere without all these baby things. Oh. Hello, baby Alexander. He can't talk, Peppa. If he can't talk, then how do you know what he wants? We guess. <coughs> I'm guessing he's hungry. Peppa, would you like to help feed Alexander? Yes, please. It is lunchtime for baby Alexander. Cousin Peppa is going to feed you today, Alexander. Here you are, baby. <coughs> oh, here it is. <coughs> oh, he keeps turning his head. <coughs> Feeding baby Alexander is quite hard. Watch this. Here comes the aeroplane. Ooh! <laughs> Alexander likes it Ooh. if you pretend the spoon is an aeroplane. You have a go, Pepper. Here comes the aeroplane. <laughs> Open your mouth and in through the doors. <laughs> Hooray! <laughs> that was an aeroplane. Can you say aeroplane? I told you he can't talk. He hasn't even said his first word yet. Pepper. Do you remember what your first word was? No. It was mummy. I thought Peppa's first word was daddy. No, mummy. What was George's first word? Dinosaur. George's <laughs> first word was dinosaur. <laughs> Somebody looks like they had a good lunch. Yes, bath time, I think. <laughs> Baby Alexander <laughs> is having a bath. <laughs> This is Mr. Dinosaur. Can you say dinosaur? Go, go. He can't talk, Peppa. <sniffs> but he will talk one day. Then you'll know what he wants. What do you want to do now, Alexander? Go, go. <sniffs> I think he wants to go for a walk. He can't walk yet, but he can go out in his buggy. <laughs> That's a clever little buggy. Yes, five gears, mud guards, and ABS as standard. Blah, blah, blah. That's how daddies talk. <laughs> Alexander likes it when you talk, Peppa. That's because I am very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> this is the sky. Can you say sky? Go, go. The sky is where rain comes from. Can you say rain? <laughs> rain is good for ducks and plants and making muddy puddles. Peppa has found a big <laughs> muddy puddle. Look, Alexander. I'm jumping up and down in a puddle. <laughs> <laughs> I love jumping up and down in puddles. Puddles. Ooh. Alexander has said his first word. Puddles. Hooray! Hooray! Puddles. puddles. And I taught him to say it. Puddles. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the Secret Club. <laughs> Peppa has come to play with Susie Sheep. <laughs> Hello, Susie. Hello, Peppa. Why have you got that mask on your face? So people don't know it's me. I'm in a secret club. Ooh, can I be in your secret club? Shh. 
It's not easy to get into. You have to say the secret word. What word? Flubber double. Flubber double? Right, you're in. <laughs> Danny Dog has come to play. Hello, Peppa. Hello, Susie. Shh. What? I'm in a secret club. I'm in it too. Ooh. Pedro Pony, Candy Cat and Rebecca Rabbit have come to play. Hello! Shh! Susie and Peppa are in a secret club. Can we join your secret club? It's very hard to get into. You have to say the secret word. Shalama cookie. Shalama cookie? That's not the word I said. It changes all the time to keep it secret. Oh. Are we in the secret club now? You're in. What do we do? We do secret things in secret. And secretly go on secret missions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Show us how you do a secret mission. Yes, show us. Uh, Peppa can do it. You've got the mask on, Susie. OK, my secret mission is to get biscuits. Watch this. Susie Sheep is trying not to be seen. Can I have some biscuits for my friends, please? Of course. Here you are. Thank you, Mummy. Susie Sheep has returned with the biscuits. Hooray! Shh! Hooray! Did anyone see you? No. Well, only a grown-up. Look out! Would you like some juice to go with your biscuits? What biscuits? The biscuits I just gave you for your friends. Oh, Susie! What's the matter? We're in a secret club doing secret things and Susie's told everyone. Oh, can I be in your secret club, please? Please, I've always wanted to be in a secret club. It's very hard to get into. You must say the secret word. Which is? Pick a needle noodle. Pick a needle noodle? That's it. You're in. What happens now? Look out. It's Daddy Pig. You talk to my daddy. But don't say anything about our secret club. Hello. Ah, there you are, Mummy Sheep. What's new? Uh, um, uh, uh, secret club. Oh, no! Ooh, I always wanted to be in a secret club. Can I join, please? You can't join, Daddy, because you are grown up. Uh, my mummy is grown up. Well, you have to know the magic word. Which is? Papa Deedle Doodle Dum. Papa Deedle Doodle Dum? You're in. What do I do now? Look out. It's Mummy Pig. Follow Mummy in secret. Daddy Pig? Ah, hello, Mummy Pig. What are you doing in that bush? Um, uh, secret club. Oh. I've always wanted to be in a secret club. We can't have everyone in the secret club. It wouldn't be a secret. Oh. I suppose it doesn't have to be a secret secret club. <laughs> it can be the everybody secret club. And everybody can be in it. Oh, goody. <laughs> <laughs> Winter day. It is very cold today. Pepper and George are wearing their hats, scarves, coats, mittens, and boots. <laughs> Look, George, the trees haven't got leaves. In the winter time, the trees lose their leaves. <laughs> Pepper and George have found a muddy puddle. Ooh. Pepper and George love jumping up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> It is so cold, the puddle has turned to ice. It is very slippery. <laughs> it's not funny. 
Here are Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. Oh, good! A muddy puddle. Daddy Pig loves jumping in muddy puddles. Stop, Daddy! <laughs> <gasps> <laughs> that was close. Lucky I've got such a good sense of balance. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy, the puddles are icy today. We can't jump in them. Never mind. Let's feed some bread to the ducks. Hooray! <laughs> Pepper and George love feeding the ducks. <laughs> Hello, ducks. We've got some bread for you. <laughs> the ducks like bread. <laughs> oh! It is so cold, the pond has frozen to ice. <laughs> the ice is very slippery. <laughs> Sorry for laughing, Mrs. Duck, but it did look quite funny. <laughs> it is starting to snow. Snow! <laughs> Pepper and George love snow. George, let's catch snowflakes. <laughs> Pepper and George are catching snowflakes. Ooh. George has caught a snowflake. <laughs> Pepper has caught a snowflake. Ooh. <laughs> Here is Susie Sheep on her toboggan. Whee! <laughs> Hello, Pepper. Wow! Susie, that looks fun. <laughs> We're all tobogganing on the big hill. There's lots of snow there. <laughs> Shall we climb up the big hill and watch the tobogganing? Yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> Pepper's friends are tobogganing on the big hill. Whee! <laughs> Yo! <laughs> what? Oh dear! George has slipped on the hill. You look funny, George. <laughs> George does not think it is funny. It's quite easy to slip on the hill. Maybe I should carry George. Daddy, can you carry me too? <laughs> All right, Peppa. Just be careful you don't slip over, Daddy Pig. <laughs> don't worry, Mummy Pig. Remember, I've got an excellent sense of balance. <laughs> <laughs> Have a race! Yes. yes! Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Here we are, the top of the big hill. Do be careful you don't slip, Daddy Pig. <laughs> I'm not going to slip. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Daddy is like a big toboggan! <laughs> <laughs> we are going to win the race! Hooray! Peppa and George are the winners. Well done, Peppa! My daddy makes a very good toboggan. <laughs> it's not funny. It is a bit funny, Daddy Pig. Hmm. I suppose it is quite funny. <laughs> Lost keys. Pepper and her family have been for a lovely day out in the mountains. Time to go home. Back to the car. Thank you for visiting the mountain beauty spot. See you again soon. <coughs> no, George. You can't play with the car keys. You might lose them. <laughs> You're playing with the car keys, Daddy. But I'm a grown-up. I'm not going to lose them. Oh, dear. Daddy Pig has dropped the car keys down a drain. Oh. oh. Right. Let's go home. Um, that might be difficult. Why? Daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, Daddy Pig! Don't worry. I'll get the keys out of the drain with a stick. Hooray! Hmm. The drain must be deeper than I thought. The stick is not long enough to reach the keys. What we need is a fishing rod. Then we can catch the keys on a hook. Maybe Miss Rabbit sells fishing rods. 
Uh, do you sell fishing rods? We do, actually. I don't know why. You don't get fish in the mountains. We're not fishing for fish. We're fishing for keys. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh, you'll never get those back. That drain's really deep. What are drains for? A drain takes the rainwater away to the sea. The fishing line is not long enough to reach the keys. My goodness! How deep is this drain? We can see how deep it is by dropping a stone. Good idea, Miss Rabbit. We can count how long the stone takes to reach the bottom. One, two, three, four, five, six. That is deep. Told you. What can we do now? It is Mr Pool and his friends. Digger! Crane! George loves diggers and cranes. Hello, everybody! Hello, Hello Mr, Mr Bull. Bull. Welcome to the Mountain Beauty Spot. Have you come to do some work? No! It's our day off, so we came to enjoy the beauty spot. You can see for miles, boss. Yes, it's very pretty. Uh, Mr Bull, could we borrow your crane for a minute? What for? My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Say no more. I'll have them out in no time. Mr Rhino, the crane, please. Stand clear. Down she goes. How lucky Mr Bull came along when he did. Yes, now we'll finally get our keys back. That's as far as she goes, Chief. Mr Bull is the chief. Did you find our keys? No. <gasps> the crane isn't long enough. Now what shall we do? Easy. We'll dig up the road! Hooray! <laughs> Mr Bull is digging up the beauty spot. Stop! What's going on? We came to see the beauty spot. Uh, they're digging it up right now. Won't be long. My daddy dropped the car keys down the drain. Oh. oh. Hold it! Hold it! It's the keys! We've got them! Hooray! There you go! Thank you, Mr Bull. Oh, it was nothing. Uh, where's the beauty spot gone? The mountain beauty spot is now a big hole. It's a cave now! Welcome to the cave beauty spot. Ooh! All thanks to my daddy. Uh, and Mr Bull. Yes! I'm good at digging holes. Mr Bull loves digging holes. <laughs> Everybody loves digging holes. <laughs> Competition. Pepper and her friends are at playground. <laughs> oh, it is almost Halloween, children. And we are going to have a pumpkin competition. Ooh. Have you all brought in your pumpkins? Yes. yes. I grew my pumpkin from a seed. My mummy bought my pumpkin from the supermarket. I've got a pumpkin that's made out of plastic. I haven't got my pumpkin here because Grandpa is still growing it. Fine. Just remember to decorate your pumpkins and bring them back here for the competition tonight. <laughs> there will be prizes for everyone. Granny and Grandpa Pig have come to collect Peppa. Granny Pig! Grandpa Pig! Have you got my pumpkin for the competition tonight? Don't worry, Peppa. Your pumpkin is safe and sound in my greenhouse. Is my pumpkin big, Grandpa? Oh, yes. <laughs> This is Grandpa Pig's greenhouse. May I present your pumpkin? Grandpa! It is the biggest pumpkin in the world. Quite possibly. But how are we going to get such a huge pumpkin to the playgroup? One step at a time, Granny Pig. We need to make this pumpkin into a lantern. Ooh. First, I will scoop out all the inside. <laughs> 
Now we cut out the face. <laughs> And we put a candle inside to make it glow. Lovely! <laughs> now we put the pumpkin into the car. The pumpkin is very, very heavy. <laughs> oh, there. Step one complete. We're out of the greenhouse. Now for step two. We lift it into the car. <laughs> The pumpkin is impossible to lift. I told you it was too big. It's not too big. We just need a bit of help. Hello! Miss Rabbit's helicopter rescue service. Miss Rabbit, please come to our rescue. It's very important. Come quickly. I'm on my way. All the children have brought their pumpkin lanterns to playgroup. Welcome to the pumpkin competition. If everyone is here, we will get started. Peppa isn't here. Oh, where is she? Miss Rabbit's rescue helicopter has arrived at Grandpa's greenhouse. So, who needs rescuing? My pumpkin! We have to get it to the playgroup in time for the competition. OK. Hop aboard! <laughs> <laughs> Next stop, the playgroup. I think we will have to start without Pepper. Ah, it won't be fun without Pepper. The prize for the best pumpkin grown from seed goes to Susie Sheep. That's me. This is fun. <laughs> the prize for the best pumpkin bought from a supermarket goes to Pedro Pony. That's me. Nay. The prize for the best plastic pumpkin goes to... What's that noise? Look. What's that? There's a light in the sky. Ooh. <laughs> it's a flying pumpkin. It's Papa's pumpkin. Wow. For the best flying pumpkin goes to Peppa Pig. Hooray! <laughs> this is the best Halloween ever. Peppa loves Halloween. Everyone loves Halloween. The end of the holiday. It is the last morning of Peppa's holiday in Italy. I'm just going for one last walk. What? Mm -hmm. Going for one last swim, Mr Pig? Uh, yes. One last swim before I go home. I want to stay on holiday forever. Holidays are nice, but they don't last forever, Peppa. Think of all your friends waiting for you back home. Yes, I miss my friends and I miss Goldie the fish. Can I telephone Goldie? OK, Peppa. Granny and Grandpa Pig are looking after Goldie the fish while Pepper is on holiday. Hello? Hello, Granny. How's Goldie? <coughs> um, she's eating well. I sent Goldie a postcard. Does she like it? The postcard hasn't arrived yet, Pepper, but I'm sure it will be here soon. Oh, we're coming home today. See you later. See you later. Susie Sheep has come to play with Peppa. Hello, Susie. Hello, Granny Pig. Is Peppa back from holiday? Not yet, Susie, but she's coming back today. Oh. Susie is missing Peppa. This suitcase is heavy. Are you sure we need all this stuff, Mummy Pig? These are important souvenirs from our holiday. OK. Is everybody ready? Yes, Daddy, Daddy Pig. Pig. Then let's go home. Bye-bye. Ciao. Oh, look. Oh, dear. Peppa has forgotten Teddy. What a lovely holiday. Yes. I have never felt so relaxed. Ah, 
Hello, officer. Whatever I was doing, I won't do it again. <laughs> Mr. Pig, here is your teddy. Please, take better care of him. Teddy! <laughs> We're going home today. Susie Sheep cannot wait for Peppa to get back home. Hello, Susie. Is Peppa home yet? No, Susie. But she's flying home now. Flying high in the sky. Flying high and high and high. <laughs> <laughs> I hope it's sunny when we get home. Peppa's family have arrived home. <laughs> <laughs> Granny Pig! What has Grandpa done to you? Um, she has filled out a bit, hasn't she? Naughty Grandpa, you fed her too much. She was always hungry. We've brought you some presents from Italy. Look, Grandpa, a beautiful garden gnome. Oh, you really shouldn't have. Granny, has my postcard arrived? No, Peppa, not yet. Oh. That's my postcard. Hello. Oh, it's only Susie. I've really missed you, Peppa. <laughs> I've missed you too, Susie. Peppa and Susie are best friends. <laughs> Here is Mr Zebra, the postman. A postcard all the way from Italy. Ho, ho. We got here quicker than the postcard. Look, Goldie. I sent you this postcard from our holiday. Did you have a nice time on holiday, Peppa? Yes. Did you have a nice time? It rained every day. Oh, goody. That means there'll be muddy puddles. <laughs> Peppa and Susie loved jumping up and down in muddy puddles. Holidays are nice, but coming home to muddy puddles is even better. <laughs> Grandpa's little tray. Peppa and George have come to play in Granny and Grandpa's garden. What's that noise? Grandpa's making something. Hello, Pepper and George. That's perfect timing. I've just finished making it. And may we ask what it is? <laughs> I'll show you. Wow! A little toy train. It's not a toy. This is Gertrude. She's a miniature locomotive. But doesn't it need railway tracks to run on? Oh, no. I fitted Gertrude with car wheels so she can go anywhere she likes. Grandpa, can we ride in Gertrude? Hop aboard. <laughs> Full steam ahead. Bye-bye, Granny. See you later. Peppa and George love Grandpa's little train. Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo. 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 Grandpa's little train goes choo-choo-choo all day long. And the piggies on the train go oink, 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 oink. And the piggies on the train go oink, 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 all day long. <laughs> Here is Grandad Dog with Danny Dog. Hello. Hello, Danny. I see you're playing toy trains. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. How's your little lorry? Little lorry? My breakdown truck is a proper work vehicle. Grandad, can I ride on the train? Hmm, it's your choice, Danny. If you'd rather play trains than... Thanks, Grandad. <laughs> See you later. Miss Rabbit is driving the school bus. And to our left, we can see some hills with trees. Hello, everyone. Hello, Peppa. All Peppa's friends are here. Can we ride on the train? 
Um, I'm giving the children an educational bus tour. Are trains educational? They certainly are. Uh, hands up all those who want to ride on the train. Me! Me! And hands up all those who want to stay on the bus. OK. You can all go on the train and I'll follow along behind. <laughs> What a lot of mud. We don't want to get stuck. Maybe we should go a different way. It's only a patch of mud. Come on, Gertrude. You can make it. Come on, bus. You can make it. The bus is stuck in the mud. Oh, bother. Hello, Miss Rabbit. How are you today? I'm a bit stuck. Can you rescue me? Certainly. Is your truck strong enough? Trust me. Did it work? Uh, no. We need a vehicle with more power. Can I help in any way? Uh, it's nothing that I can't deal with. Uh, thanks, anyway. I've got an idea. Grandpa Pig's train can tow me out of the mud. Uh... Good thinking, Miss Rabbit. Grandpa's little train is going to pull the bus out of the mud. Full steam! Come on, Gertrude! Come on, Gertrude! Oh, well done! It's amazing what can be done by a toy train. Toy? Gertrude isn't a toy. Gertrude is the very best train in the whole world. <laughs> <laughs>